Okay, so our next step is to lay in our base values. If I look at these cherries, I have two red cherries and I have green stems and like a brown top there, right? So those are my base values. And here I'm going to introduce to you a couple new tools, including the color picker as well as the fill bucket. Before we do any of that, I'm going to start another layer and I'm going to put it underneath my line work like to make a sandwich so it's going to be photo new layer line work on top so make sure you have that order and you're going to move this order around as we go we're going to continue to use the technical pen um, but this time we're going to change our color and we need to get that red of the cherry sort of the mid-tone of the cherry because we're going to fill those up and i'm going to do a bunch of different layers i'm going to put each cherry on its own layer and then um, the stems together and probably that by itself. So you're gonna see me add those layers, but we're gonna come down here and we're going to press this little button. Do you see that? Let me move this. Do you see that little circle right down there? We're gonna press that little circle and we're gonna choose the color picker, which is right here up top. And you're gonna see it, it become, you know, this little circle pops up, click and hold it down. And when you slide it around, do you see how the ring of that changes color? right so i'm going to choose a mid red kind of like that and you can see it jumps right into our puck i'm going to do that again color picker down here i'm sorry this little dot down here color picker and then i'm going to slide this around on my reference photo and if i go on the blue it should pick up the blue um, but i want to find that mid color here of that medium red but now i'm going to Increase my size a little bit, test it out, perfect. Okay, so again, I'm on a new layer sandwiched between my um, cherry photo and my line work. And what we're gonna do is we're going to outline this shape and we're gonna fill it in. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to try and get as close to that outline edge. Sometimes I can turn off my um, photo and just look at my line work and just like a coloring book you're going to come in here and you're going to outline you're going to see me hit that undo button quite a bit i'm a little bit of a perfectionist i don't know about you but we're going to just fill up this whole space with our base color and you do this when you're really painting like on a canvas not that this isn't real painting but you do this on a canvas and this is called um, color blocking. So we're gonna block in this color. I'm gonna go right over my stem, that's okay. Blocking in this color. And I'm gonna turn off my line work so I can see that it's nice and smooth and I'll keep it off. And now there's one cherry. So now we're gonna fill it up and we're gonna use the bucket fill tool which is up here. Do you see that? You might have to slide this around a little bit to find yours. It looks like a little paint bucket. I'm gonna click on that. Actually, let me zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna click on that and you have different options. We have this one that's solid, this one that has a gradient from one side to the other, and this one here that has um, like a glow in the middle. Make sure you're on the first one and then you're gonna click right in the middle like that and it's gonna fill up the whole area so you don't have to spend time coloring. If I zoom in though, do you see that little line that's like still kind of white? Unclick the fill bucket, because if I click here, watch if I have the fill, when I click here, the whole canvas will turn red. I'm gonna go back, unclick that fill, and then you're back to your technical pen and fill in that line. Okay, that's just something that I've noticed happens um, every now and again, and it was bothering me at first. Fill in that line all the way around. And there is our first cherry. So they put that back, it should line up well. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat that process for this cherry, the stems and the um, top of the stem there. But I'm gonna do that on a new layer. So I'm gonna add a new layer, come over here, and I'm gonna trace that whole thing again and bucket fill.
Okay, so here you can see my final color block situation where I have just blocked in all of my main colors. I want to point out, because I know that was sped up for you, I want to point out that every single component of this piece is on a different layer, right? I have this layer here. Let me turn off my background. I have my um, first cherry here on one layer. I have my second cherry on another layer. I put both stems together on one layer, and then the top of the stem is also by itself up there. So if I come down and turn on my reference photo, it's behind it. You can see it peeking out here and there. We don't have to be perfect. We're practicing, we're learning, right? But if I turn off each one, you can see that base mid-tone color that I pulled straight from the picture right there, also in this cherry. And I wanna point out that this stem is lighter than that one. So I tried to find like the mean, the average color um, that's happening in here. Let me zoom in so you can see that difference, right? Now I might go back into, let me turn off my background. I feel like my stems are a little shaky. I might go back with my color or with the eraser to sort of clean that up. And then if we look at the stem up top, this little brown bit here, if I turn that off, you saw me just pick again a middle color um, that can be built upon. So I chose this weird brown color. I can add that brighter green yellow. I can add that darker color later. And we're going to try it out. We're not gonna go crazy and try and get all that detail, but we are going to pull that color later. To remind you, how do I pull a color? Well, it's called the eyedropper and it's down here. Let me move that. It's down here in this little bit here and it looks like a little eyedropper like you use in like um, science class, right? So that will pull. So if I want to get this color again or that green to like make my stems thicker, I can grab that color itself straight from that layer. Okay. I also heard, I'm going to try it. If I click and hold down, ah, long enough. Do you see how that happens? Yes. Yeah, so I don't have to come down here and click so many times. I can just click and hold long enough and it'll pop up. And that's super duper convenient because we're going to use that eyedropper like non-stop moving forward. Okay, so in this video, you learned how to um, start a new canvas with the reference in the back. We learned how to create our contour lines, which we're going to use more in a minute. Um, we learned how to create or use the eyedropper to pull a color and how to create a new layer with a section. We use the fill bucket tool, that sort of thing. Okay, so um, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to stop here for this video. In our next video, I'm going to teach you how to develop base colors and make it look realistic. But again, this is just that basic color situation. All right, I'll see you in a bit.